What's up guys, welcome to the video. I'm Ryan Knows Tech with our tech blog, techinform.us, and for today's video, we're gonna be looking at the speeds of the OWC Mercury Extreme Pro 6G SSD. All right, for my first trick, we'll get aside the obvious point, there I am. Uh, for the first trick in today's video, we're gonna be doing a boot up test here with the SSD. This is the 15 inch. 2011 MacBook Pro. I'm kind of looking at you guys right there. Um, this is the 2.2 i7. We've got 8 gigs of RAM and the 120 gig version of this SSD. It's supposed to read around 500 to 560 megs per second read and write, which is about 10 times a 5400 RPM hard drive, at least most of the ones that I've dealt with. So we're going to go ahead and boot this up. It is in uh, hard drive bay zero. It's not in a data doubler going through the optical bay cables. I've got an app open right here on the iPhone. As soon as I press the button, I'm going to hit the start here. Right, whoops, there, that's accurate enough. And uh, we'll see how long this guy takes. And there we are. In about 18 seconds, we have booted into a desktop environment that is 100% usable. We can come over here, click Safari, one bounce, and we're on my homepage and looking at the worst car designs of ever, and they're mostly American cars. But uh, it's very quick booting. That's definitely one of the things you will notice when you get a solid state drive. Um, from completely cold boot off, we're not even on power, about 18 seconds. Um, during my clean install, I was looking at about 12 seconds. Got some stuff on here. It is mounting another drive in the data doubler, which is right over here where my optical bay would normally be. So expect a few seconds for it to mount that drive and rev that up if, if that should even make a difference. Uh, operating system-wise, this is 10.7.1, um, the current most updated version of Lion as of 8.17 of 2011. Uh, from the OS now, we're going to go into that. Uh, we'll take a look, run some speed tests, and I'll show you how quickly it launches stuff. Welcome to the MacBook Pro and the Blue Snowball microphone, which I know that I will see in a few minutes when editing sounds a crap ton better. Anyway, so we're in the operating system right now. First thing we're going to do is just play around and open some stuff. Safari is still cached. There are very few applications that take more than one bounce to open. With my old hard drive, all of those browsers that I just opened in a bounce were normally three to four. Uh, not all of that would be the SSD. I had a crap ton of crap on here that uh, needed to be cleared out. Pretty much everything I open is very fast. Uh, Photoshop CS5 Extended 5.1 or whatever this is, uh, pretty quick. PowerPoint, we'll open that from the Microsoft Suite is nearly instantaneous, as well as Word and Excel. Uh, moving into the Apple Suite, we've got Pages. A lot of this is due to eight gig of RAM on a quad core i7. But even on my 13 inch, uh, it has contacts in it. Even on my 13 inch MacBook Pro, it was nearly this fast. The spec bump of the 15 inch uh, with the graphics, which would make no difference in this, the processor and the slightly faster RAM by 300 megahertz has not made a big difference in the way this thing feels for everyday tasks. Opening the App Store, that is a slightly larger application, still one bounce, it opens up, it's, it's instantaneous, of course, uh, Finder, get back to that, is, is gonna be really quick. Um, so from here, I'm gonna do a quick disk speed test. I did this same speed test on my um, MacBook Pro 13 inch, and it did pretty well. We will select a target drive here, browse over to the SSD, and start. So it pretty much clocks out right around 465, 469 megs per second, 490. My problem is this application is bottlenecking the hard drive's performance, I feel. It is going off the gauges. I do not think this application can handle the, the speeds that this drive of, is capable of outputting. As you can see, it's running uh, various tests on it and it is performing amazingly well. The difference in the 3G and the 6G drives. I had a 3G drive from OWC, it was very fast. And to be perfectly honest, I do not really notice a difference um, when booting, when opening apps, when even writing some smaller files, that it's faster. But when writing larger files to the drive, naturally it is going to be about twice the speed. The speed that I, the speeds I were, uh, I was getting on the 3G drive are around 250 write, 250 read. So this is just about double that. Again, I wish I could find an application that would 
utilize the drive to its full potential and not max out these gauges. Uh, just for a little comparison, we'll take a look at the 7200 RPM performance drive that came with the MacBook Pro. I got the 500 gig 72 instead of the uh, 500 gig, um, or instead of the 750 gig 5400 RPM. It was the same price when I designed it online. Keep in mind, this is going through the um, optical bay data cable, so it may not be as fast as it could be. But we're looking at just under 100 right and uh, same thing for read, which is good, which is good for a hard drive. There are better, but it's nowhere close the of the performance of an SSD. So the SSD, it's, it's an amazing purchase. It's not that much more expensive than the 3G. So I would definitely consider getting the 6G over the 3G. If nothing else, it's going to make it future proof. And it's cool to watch the things go off the gauges. I'll admit that. Here's the actual page of the OWC SSDs. Uh, you can see that the 6Gs are here. They start at 203. And then the uh, 3Gs start at, at um, 87 or about $88. If you want to get a 120 gig 3G drive, which is fine, it's awesome. They actually have it in the 115 gig. It's down to 195. These prices are going down by the day. So 195 for the 3G to get that 120 gig 6G is going to cost you more, but you are looking at twice the speed. It's going to be about uh, 280. So definitely an increase, but uh, you're getting great speeds. Now there's two drives here. They've got the Pro 6G and the Electra. The difference that I can see here is the incompressible data rate, whatever that should mean. It's about twice the speed on the extreme. Not that big of a price difference. It was only uh, $75. So I just went and I got the best SSD that they had here. Uh, definitely worth the investment. Uh, if you're thinking about getting an SSD, you wanted the 3G and now you see the 6G and you're thinking to yourself, hey, wait, should I just get that? I'd have to save up more money. Don't bother. You're not going to notice that big of a difference unless you're constantly writing ridiculously large files to the drive and you're really worried about those few seconds that it will shave off. The 3G drive is fine. It still boots in 20 seconds. Um, two good friend of mine, they have them, they love them. So definitely recommend any of these SSDs. But the entire experience of using a solid state drive in the operating system makes just about everything instantaneous. Whatever you want to do. Final Cut Pro. This is a huge application. Three, four bounces. We've got a splash screen. A couple seconds later, it's going to load up my project from my daily vlogs. Here it is. Here's the one from yesterday. That's what it looks like. Yeah, tons of editing there, right? Quit and it's gone. With the hard drive, it's constantly got to move the, the head around the disk and find that data. Solid state, it's like RAM. It's right there. There are no moving parts. It does not use a lot of power. It's very quiet and it doesn't run hot. For some reason, my sensors in this think it's 128 degrees Celsius. That's impossible. It's definitely not. They always say that. Something's up with the sensor on mine. But everything here is very quick and I do highly recommend the solid state drive to anybody. Now for the simple task of shutting it down. Shutting down is not a test that a lot of people run, but personally I think it is uh, nearly as important as booting up. You know, I don't actually close the lid and put the Mac to bed at night until it's actually shut down. I don't want to have it sleep during the shutdown process or something. So I'll just click shut down. I have tons of stuff cached, although none of it is open in the actual dock right now. I did uncheck that box. We'll click shut down, and as you can see, it's a pretty quick process. I mean, I have a couple seconds and it's gone. There I am again. So thanks for watching this video. Leave your thoughts on the SSDs in general if you still think that they're uh, too expensive to buy right now or uh, whatever your thoughts are on that. I, I would totally understand that. Uh, it's a new technology that's constantly improving. However, I jumped on early and I'm glad that I did for the sake of, uh, it's just unbelievably quick and anything you do is pretty much instantaneous. Of course, uh, omitting exporting video and things that are not disk intensive, uh, rather graphics or processing power intensive. So the SSD is definitely a win. The 6G, you can't go wrong with it. It's more money. Come on guys, 500 megs read and write. That's incredible per second. That is very fast. Uh, I, I would like to see a hard drive do that. That is not in like RAID with six other drives or something. But uh, again, thank you. Subscribe if you like the content. Be sure to check out our blog, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, techinform.us. Uh, we're going to get some iPhone stuff on there soon. The iPhone 5 is kind of ramping up. We've heard some rumors about September or October. Look for the unboxing and review on this channel, of course. That's what I do. The iPhone 4 has been a winner for several months, and I definitely am looking forward to replacing it with its uh, baby brother that hopefully we'll see in a couple weeks or months. So uh, that's pretty much it for me today. Uh, be sure to check back. I'm making videos uh, more often. I am trying to get back on that uh, bandwagon. I did get one up yesterday. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow in Thursday's video. 
Subscribe if you like this stuff. Talk to you then.